Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my June wrap-up. So June was a really hard month for me. So June was definitely not a month where my reading was at my best, but I still managed to finish four books, and so I give myself props for even doing that because it was a long, hard, emotional month and I still can't believe we're in July. Still can't believe this year is halfway over. So again, I read four books. Uh, one of them was a manga, one of them was a middle grade, one of them was a novella basically, and then the other one was just a book. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking about the books and letting you see what I read. So the first book I read was volume two of Waiting for Spring. I believe this was on my summer TBR pick and I figured it would be an easy one to get out of the way since it was um, a manga and it wasn't super long. And I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I still think this series is adorable. I love the characters and I love the friendships that are forming because I think they're super cute. And if you're looking for a good shoujo, I really think this is a good one for you to look at. So it's about a girl who is very like introverted and shy and she just wants to make friends but she doesn't know how to put herself out there. And she works at this cafe and one day the four like pop most popular guys on the basketball team come into the cafe for like a weird reason and there's like a whole misunderstanding and she ends up yelling at them. And from then on, they kind of attached themselves to her, like, and kind of forced their friendship onto her. And she kind of learns how to really speak up for herself and put herself out there to try and make other friends. So I think it's super cute. I definitely loved reading this a lot. It was definitely a lighthearted read for the month I was having, and yeah. Alright, so the next book I finished was Sarah Normal Ghost Town by Phoebe Rivers. So this is the first book in this middle grade series uh it was cute i liked it it definitely gave me ghost whisperer vibes so it's about a girl who can see ghosts but nobody in her life knows that like her dad doesn't even know and so they move into this new town and there she has to make new friends and she moves into this old psychic's house and so she's like already weirded out because she doesn't really know if this lady's actually psychic or if she's just pretending to be psychic. And then she experiences a ghost who's kind of haunting her. And the house is also filled with ghosts. So she's kind of just dreading living here because she knows it's going to be a lot harder to keep her secret. So it was cute. I liked the story. I liked the way it went. I definitely want to read the other books in this because I think it's kind of cute. It's like a, a mini Ghost Whisperer type story and I love Ghost Whisperer. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for like a cute little paranormal middle grade. So the next book I read was Love Creekwood by Becky Abertali. So I saw this was coming out and I kind of had to have it. So... <laughs> I haven't read all the books in this like Simon verse series. I still have to read The Upside of Unquieted, which is on my summer TBR. This is basically a compilation of emails between Simon and Blue and Abby and Leah and just all of their friends um, taking place after college. So it's them trying to like keep in contact and make sure they're being there for each other. And honestly, it was like really adorable. I loved getting like pulled back into the whole uh, Simon verse with the emails. It gave me Simon versus the Hope of Sapien vibes like to the T just with the, his emails with Blue and I just adored it so much. The ending I literally almost cried because it just like abruptly cut off and I was like 
I think this is tied to Love, Victor. So when you start Love, Victor, you kind of get an update on Simon and Blue. So I think that's why this ended so abruptly, because it kind of ties into the TV show. But still, it was adorable. I loved seeing all the emails and just seeing all of their friendship updates and everything. So I definitely enjoyed this, and it definitely brought me a lot of joy. Alrighty, and the last book that I finished in June was Full Disclosure by Cameron Garrett. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. I wasn't sure what this was going to really be about. Like, I knew it was about a girl with HIV, but I wasn't sure where the direction it was going to go. But I loved this so much. I loved the diversity in the story. There was queer rep, there was so much racial diversity, and I just loved that for the story because I feel like this is how it's done, if that makes sense. So it's about a girl who has HIV and she was born with it. So she's had it her entire life. She's had to do the pills and the checkups and everything. And so the biggest thing she's always really wondered about is sex. And now that she's older, it's definitely cropped up a lot more in her thoughts and just like trying to figure out how that would work and all that kind of stuff, especially because she's a teenager in high school. And so she meets this guy, which brings the questions more to the forefront. And so now she has to figure out, like, well, do, when does she tell the guy? Like, she knows she has to tell them, but will he freak out? Will he treat her differently? And then, not only that, but she starts receiving notes from an anonymous person telling her to stay away from this boy or else her secret will get exposed. So I thought this was really good. I thought it was adorable in the aspects of her and the boy. Their scenes were always super cute. There were some scenes in, towards the end where I was like, mm -mm, but it re I think he redeemed himself, so it's all good. I also loved the talk, like the open dialogue about sex in regards to also just HIV. I also enjoyed a lot of the informative conversations happening around HIV because honestly when I went into this book I didn't know really much about it but I enjoyed the fact that I, I know a lot more coming out of this and I have a better understanding I obviously don't have HIV so I'll never really truly understand but I have a better mindset about it than before and I love that for this book I also enjoyed the queer rep so she is not sure by the end of the book she comes out as bisexual which i thought was really cool um she wasn't really sure in the beginning but she, it was something she was working through and then her two best friends one is ace and the other one is queer as well i just can't remember what she identifies as i just enjoyed the fact that the, the rep was there and there's even more rep throughout the book i just loved all the conversations had i loved all the open conversations about being sex positive and everything like that. I definitely recommend this book. It's so good. I am surprised not a lot more people have read it or talked about it. So I'm going to definitely be pushing this a lot more for people to read. So those are the books I read in June. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hopefully will read more books this month. <laughs> we'll see. If you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, Please leave all of that down below as well. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. You could leave me a heart emoji. You could leave me a clown emoji. Please don't leave me a clown emoji. Any type of emoji you want. I just like to know you all here and present. And I love just seeing all of those things in my comments. And if you want to follow me on any of my social medias they're all linked down below i have a goodreads i have a twitter and i have a bookstagram uh twitter and bookstagram are probably the best ways you can reach me but they're there and if you want to get notified any time i upload a new video please hit that bell button down below it's there for you to ring so that way it'll ring when i post a video if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.